How is it that it's season 5 and these kids are still in their first year? Animation in general just mocks the passage of time. Brian, I'm one! Still? What? After the events of the fourth season, it was decided by the school that the students should be training for a vague but imminent threat. This training comes in the form of the work studies returning and an exhibition match between class 1A and 1B, while the latter half of the season focuses on the group formerly known as the League of Villains and what they're up to. It's weird to say that this season feels like a training arc when the entire show is about training, so let's just say the entire season feels like a setup for the next season. The season kicks off with a class 1A 1B exhibition and people hated it because of the low stakes and horrible pacing. While I kind of agree with the pacing issue, I do not understand the low stakes argument at all because every single season of My Hero Academia starts with some low stakes school exercise to either show off certain characters powers or show you how much they have improved from previous seasons. For this season it's the latter as well as reintroducing us to the class 1B team as a unit. The middle part sucked. It was just really boring consistently repeating the same bits of information. This was the part with the work studies. I love Sue, but every time I see this person's face, you know nothing significant is going to happen and it's best to just skip the whole episode. One necessary part in my opinion is the continuation of Endeavor's redemption. I love that they didn't just forgive him after one heroic deed. We have passed the era in anime history where you're a bad guy, you do one good deed, and then you sleep with the girl whose boyfriend you murdered replacing him as a part of the group and all is forgiven. I love Vegeta, alright, but he blew up a planet. I didn't forget that. Then we end with My Villain Academia, the part of the story where we get character development for Shigaraki and two members of his group. I was actually a big fan of everything they did with Shigaraki and Twice. And the Toga stuff was okay too. For the whole series, Shigaragi had this vague goal that fans thought would eventually get clarified. And it was. This season it was clarified that it was in fact vague. That's all there is to it. He's just lashing out because it makes him feel good. And with some context given through flashbacks, it really does make him a compelling villain. And I find that amazing. You don't need a Thanos Killmonger-esque motive to make a villain great. This season is not for the progression of the plot. The plot barely moves forward. This season is for the development and progression of certain characters, which is great, but it still makes it the worst season so far. That doesn't make it bad, and it's still better than a lot of the stuff that's out there right now. It still has a lot of the elements that made My Hero great in the first place. Class 1A's chemistry is still there and it's probably better than before because Bakugo is joining in with the antics and Shoto has opened himself up more to reveal that he is socially a dumbass. Let me put it this way. If your life was a show, this season would be the part where your girlfriend dumped you, you don't have a job, your relative died, and you're just trying to get back on your feet. Brighter things ahead, but whoa whoa now you're here. So all in all, when you compare it to the previous seasons, My Hero Academia Season 5 is... Underwhelming.